Honey badgers are the most fearless and the toughest in the animal kingdom. No one, and I mean no one, wants to mess with them. They are regarded as the most fearless animal in the wild, and they back that up every day, all while looking like a ferret on steroids. Honey badgers woke up and chose violence. But how did they become so fearless? How do these compact-sized danger weasels take on the deadliest predators like it was a regular Sunday's brunch with the girls? Honey badgers are fearless. Honey badgers may not be the king of the jungle, but they still command respect wherever they go in the wild, even from the king of the jungle, who isn't supposed to be scared of anything. Despite their smaller size, they have a temper several times larger that can even intimidate us humans. These ferocious honey-eating carnivores may have a bit of a bad rep. There's so much that goes into being such a badass creature, but how do they take on even the largest of predators and manage to not get unalived? There are a couple of reasons why these critters are courageous. Principally, they have a thick, rubbery skin that is nearly impenetrable to even arrows and spears, approximately one quarter inch thick. Honey badger skin. This is their mode of protection and flexibility from all kinds of predators. Their skin is thick yet loose enough for them to shrug off most bites from predators, stings from bees and porcupines, as well as enable them to land significant bites on their would-be attackers or prey. If the honey badger gets caught by the skin by a predator, it can still twist and fight back because the looseness allows them some freedom of movement. Predators such as lions or leopards that can grab them with their jaws are in danger of retaliation because the honey badger can so easily reach their faces. So, they'd rather actively steer clear of them. They have an exceptionally robust jaw to go with their very sharp teeth, enabling them to consume every part of their catch their jaws are strong enough to consume a tortoise whole, including its shell like it were merely a crispy snack. As the name hints on, honey badgers regularly carry out beehive raids in search of food. Honey badger diet. They look for honeycombs and destroy them to eat honey and bee larva. Meanwhile, they are primarily carnivorous and can eat a wide variety of food. Second, to only the wolverine, they have the biggest diversity in the diets of the weasel family. They can eat anything from berries, vegetables, young monkeys, rodents, small reptiles, insects, deadly snakes, and even human corpses. Yep, these bad boys have a reputation for digging up graves and eating the corpses. Here's one honey badger outdoing itself and doing his entire kin proud by capturing honey badger venom and consuming a young crocodile. Did you know honey badgers use scorpions for venom vaccines? Yep, they do. When honey badgers are young, they set to find venomous scorpions to build their tolerance for venom. They understand that the venoms of scorpions are bad. In fact, strong enough to take down most predators, but they aren't as potent as that of one of the badger's favourite meals. The black mamba, puff adder, and the king cobra. So they take on these scorpions for a few stings before eventually snacking on them. My grandma stings harder than that. Mole snake. Once the training is done, it's now time to take on a less dangerous prey. The mole snake. First off, this isn't a fair fight by any means. The mole snake isn't venomous, and striking the honey badger is just like pouring water in the sea, pointless. Even if it were a venomous snake, it still had nothing on the badger. Honey badgers have grown a tolerance to snake venom over the years, as they make up a significant part of the honey badger's diet. So, you see my point. The only thing the snake has going for it is its sharp fangs that can inflict deadly wounds if infected. But the badger has skin built like a rhino's. After several attempts to ward off its attacker, the snake tries to run off. But when a badger is locked onto its prey, it doesn't back down. 
It was only a matter of time before the snake had its head twitching in the badger's mouth. Question. This guy took on a puff adder and won, but not without a brush with death. As he began to snack away on his prize, the venom took over, leaving him paralysed for us, then woke up and got right back to his meal without another minute to waste. Quick question. If there were to be a fight between the honey badger and the wolverine, who do you think would win? Comment down below telling us who and why. In addition to the tenacious nature, brute force and thick skins, nature decided to add one more weapon to the honey badger's pretty loaded arsenal. They have butt pouches that can rotate and spray a liquid with a strong pungent odour, just as with skunks. Imagine coming against an opponent with such potent attack and defence mechanisms, all because how savage you want to have lunch. That is why most animals would rather avoid the honey badger altogether than attempt to eat them. Honey badgers have been seen displacing hyenas and even lions off their meals. How savage can these guys be? Besides being ferocious, honey badgers are resourceful. Not many animals in the wild have been observed using tools, however. The notorious honey badger is one of the few who can. They are almost impossible to keep in captivity as they've mastered the art of breaking out of enclosures. They've been known to roll up logs and use them as ladders and bridges to escape. They can also use tools like sticks, muds and stones to open gates and beehives. Furthermore, these clever little devils have reportedly used a honey guide bird to find beehives. And of course, they pay the finder's fee to the bird by leaving behind some sweet bits. Honey badgers find shelter just about everywhere. They tend to live under burrows, which they can build in a few minutes, thanks to their excellent digging capabilities. And they also sleep in the dens of other animals like foxes and spring hares. Why? because they can do absolutely what they want and get away with it. That's why. You don't get to be the most fearless animal in the world by throwing in the towel so quickly. Their behaviour and never-say-die attitude earned them that name. Honey badgers are not afraid of facing animals several times their size and will fiercely fight to the death if not left alone. And if you dare intrude on their privacy they won't hesitate to throw everything they have at you. They even have a reputation for challenging mammals into fights, such as cape buffaloes and rhinoceroses. With these guys around, ostrich eggs aren't safe, and neither are your children. As we conclude this awe-inspiring journey into the world of honey badger, we invite you to become a part of our vibrant community. If you've enjoyed these captivating insights and breathtaking visuals, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more exciting content like this. Your support means the world to us, and by subscribing, you'll never miss out on the wonders of nature and the beauty of wildlife. And if you found this video intriguing, a thumbs up and sharing it with fellow nature enthusiasts will help us reach even more people who appreciate the marvels of our planet. Thank you for joining us on this incredible adventure, and let's continue to explore and celebrate the magic of wildlife together.